Polystyrene has been used for decades as a packaging material for dairy products, such as yogurt. The empty yogurt pot is normally disposed with other packaging materials in the separate collection, which in Germany is the yellow bin or bag. The yellow bags are then collected and delivered to a sorting center, where the bags are opened and the contents are sorted into many valuable fractions for recycling. During initial sorting steps, metals, fine cardboard, paper, glass, and films are removed. The plastic fractions, including polystyrene, are transported via a conveyor belt to a near-infrared sorting unit, which is designed to specifically identify polystyrene. In the sorting center, these polystyrene fractions are collected in bales. The concentration of polystyrene packaging items in these bales is around 94%, which underlines the high effectiveness of the near-infrared sensor technology. In a subsequent step, the rigid polystyrene is separated from foam polystyrene. Here too, near-infrared technology is key to achieving 98% separation of rigid packaging parts from polystyrene foam. These solid fractions from formerly polystyrene yogurt cups are ground into smaller pieces or flakes and are then transported to a hot washing section with a caustic soda solution. During this process, labels and colors on the outside, as well as food leftovers on the inside, are removed. The flakes are thoroughly rinsed with hot water before entering a dryer and air classifier. After this step, the purity of the polystyrene content is 96%. Near-infrared and high-speed camera technology are the key technologies used for the final sorting step, which takes place in a flake sorter programmed to sort out any remaining non-rigid polystyrene and all non-white polystyrene flakes. At the end of the process, recycled polystyrene achieves 99.9% .9 plus purity. These high-purity polystyrene flakes then enter the super-cleaning process. The flakes are melted under high temperatures of around 240 degrees. In a second step, the surface area of the melted polymer is enlarged to allow greater exposure to the vacuum technology that thoroughly cleans the material. This super cleaning process step ensures that any potential impurities stemming from the use and waste phase are eliminated and that the recycled polystyrene consistently achieves the high purity levels required for food contact quality. Subsequently, the polystyrene is pelletized in an underwater pelletizer. In a standard extruder used to produce polystyrene sheets, these recycled polystyrene pellets behave identically to virgin polystyrene. Processing parameters are unchanged and the high surface quality stays the same. In the subsequent thermal forming step, the result is the same. Process-wise, there is no difference compared to virgin polystyrene. The final product here, the lid of a coffee cup, for instance, passes the same quality tests as lids made from virgin material. In essence, polystyrene combines excellent sortability and outstanding mechanical recyclability to food-grade standards. 
In addition, the recycled polystyrene performs as a drop-in solution in extrusion and thermal forming and achieves the exact same consistent and high-quality results as the virgin material. Polystyrene does not degrade, neither in recycling nor processing, and thus can be recycled over and over again.